<coughs> Hello. It's uh, pretty late in the evening, and uh, had not yet logged in to do a meditation. And um, uh, I was asked today about this notion of notion of suchness. Da da da. The notion leading to the Buddha's name, Tathagata. And um, so this might be a little bit more of a Dharma talk than meditation, but we'll see where it ends up. This notion of suchness. kind of led me to, I just realized, I finally had a moment to, um, do a little meditation. And, uh, so I started thinking, where am I going to go on stand or sit? And, uh, can I get some lighting for this time of night to do a video? And maybe I'll head there and I'll go there. And I was sitting here on the couch, I've been taking herbs. There they are. So I had to uh, just take my herbs I was sitting here. And one of the ideas was suchness. Is uh, finally seeing things and experiencing things as they are. So it's uh, the opinionless utterly engaged revelation of an inner bliss might be how I'd translate it. From the outside, it may look like it's opinion loaded. I see somebody in the state of suchness and they'll, you know, be uh, smiling or joyful or bemused by a sort of mundane something, the way somebody hair moves, or the way a butterfly changes direction, or the way that the sun reflects off some bark on a tree, or whatever. And it'll look like, oh, that person is finding that funny, or finding that beautiful, or finding that, which is an opinion, it's a judgment, it's a comparison, might be related to wants. What's my understanding that the that, that, that kind of state is not that I finally noticed the beauty in the simple, but that my finally seeing without opinion has returned me to a state of a substrate of joy or bliss or amusement or wonder it isn't that that thing is beautiful or funny but it's that I'm able to see the entirety in a fractal fragment of the entirety and in seeing that my bliss state substrate is revealed reawakened released whatever the right term there might be So, similarly, rather than my saying, oh, 
where am I going to go? What would be better than this? You know, the thoughts of suchness were, no, oh, I'm here as I am, with the lights on as they are. So, this process is one. that uh, I'll do all the time, every day, as often as I can. And if you're ever walking with me and I seem distracted, or really just spending time with me at all, and I seem distracted, very often you may note that my distraction is really just opening to something that fits this description. I'll just stop to go look at something or write something down or take a picture and I shift my perspective to open up to the opinion this resonance with all that there is. My understanding is that the path to it is one of not wanting, but continuing to connect deeply, engage deeply, see, listen deeply. And so I'll just do a little meditation here where the leading up to that suchness, tata, or even tata gata state, that just seeking the opinionless, having no wants, or even easier, not just having no wants, but spawning no wants. So I may have started with the ones that I have. That's fine. An easier way is to say, I'm going to just work on not spawning once. Of course, a want can often be wrapped in the sheep's clothing of a not want. So when I say want, I don't mean either one. So just take a few moments in a meditation together. to not spawn once. Which doesn't mean that I'm working against keeping them from happening. I'm not building a wall against them. I'm not fortifying the self in preparation for their arrival. I'm simply not giving birth to them. Let's start. Thanks to Rob DeLuca for the suggestion.